how's it going? Been mucking around with a couple of different venturis over the last couple of weeks, just trying to work out what we're going to use for the, the circulating aquaculture setup and as well as for the aquaponics. Uh, just trying to get rid of that noisy air compressor that would normally be humming in the background of the clip. So I thought I'd give Venturi's a shot again. I've used a very basic one before and it worked all right, but I think I can do a lot better than that. And I've had um, CC Bear share a idea with me, so I thought I'd give that one a crack. So. Just to show you how I'm testing them though, what I've done is I've set up a couple of the barrels that will be going into the RAS system. Uh, this one will end up being the moving bio bed, or the, one of them will be, and the other one will end up being the sump tank. So I just thought I'd, Miles will put the hole in them now and I can use them as a bit of a tester. I've got a pump in one, uh, it's the 3500 litre an hour pump, and that's just running up through this inch tube or 25 mil tube and I'm testing the Venturis in this barrel here. Uh, it's not real scientific. All I'm using is, you know, pretty much we're just gonna eyeball the bubbles and see which one <laughs> looks the best, and we'll take it from there. CC Bear from Backyard Aquaponics shared the idea for this Venturi with me, so thank you very much, mate. It's a fairly simple one. You can make from off-the-shelf parts of plumbing and hardware supply stores. What you have is your line coming up from your pump. In our case, it's a one-inch line. Um, coming up into, or 25mm, coming up into a bit of an elbow. In the elbow I've got a 25mm to 15mm reducer. I'm not too sure what the standard size is in other areas of the world. A 15mm pipe is then put into there. From there we have a 15mm T. This one's a little bit different as it's got a thread uh, fitting on the top. From there we're taking out to another 15 mil pipe and then it's expanded out to a 20 mil or three quarter inch pipe and then from there the water and air flows down to the fish tank. This little bit here is where all the magic happens. What you have here in this part is a little 13 mil irrigation fitting. This is just for backyard irrigation purposes and a little bit of 13 mil irrigation pipe. It's the same sort of pipe that just slips over the end there. What I've done is cut a bit of a bevel on the edge on the end, sorry, it's um, supposedly has to be between 60 and 90 degrees for your optimum um, um, air intake. I've actually made up a few different designs on these, I'll just show you quickly. I've got a fairly blunt end there, and I have another one over here with a couple of different teeth cut into it, and another one with just a bit of a V taken out of it. A few different websites suggested uh, playing around with these guys just to see if you could um, get better flow rates. I've pretty much well settled on one very similar to this. It's got a bit of a knock taken out either side and a bit of a point. So how this actually works is the water comes through here under pressure, is forced around the reed, it creates a low pressure point on this side, so the air from the outside being a higher pressure is just drawn straight in, it mixes with the water, then goes out through here and down into your fish tank, and hopefully provides your fish with loads of nice dissolved oxygen. Here's the little jobby in action. I don't know how well this is coming up, but there's loads of air being dragged down with the water. I'm really impressed with this. It's as good as any air compressor we've had. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, Bear. I've already got one of these made up and it's running in the system. It's been in there for a few days now. The only thing I might consider doing with this one, actually I probably will, is glue some of these fittings together. Uh, just when I was putting it together, I turned the pump on, I ended up with a very wet leg. This, this end here popped off, so yeah, that's about the only other thing I would do. Also too, a uh, suggestion Bear made is just uh, if you need to uh, reduce your, the flow for whatever reason, the amount of air being sucked in, a little tap like this, just pushed onto the half inch or 13 mil pipe, just over the top of your barb fitting, and then you can just control the amount of air that gets drawn in by turning this tap, either fully opening it or retarding it down a bit, turning it down a bit. If you're running something like this in a small barrel setup like pretty much all a 200 litre or 50 gallon barrel like this, um, a little tap would come in handy because otherwise your fish would be swimming in a spa I think. But yeah, I'm sold on this design. So the next one, I've actually made two up of these guys. It's a very basic Venturi. I've seen these online a fair bit. You, what you have is your pump coming through a one inch fitting down to a three quarter inch. You've got a little bit of a hose. Some people use big pens. I've seen different um, different designs for this. All I've done is drill a hole a little bit smaller than the hose here to make it fairly tight and just push some hose length down into there. Um, comes out this one here the sweet spot is just below the edge of the fitting here and there's also again a little bit of a bevel edge. So the idea is you've got the high high 
pressure water coming through here is restricted, creates a bit of a low pressure down there and sucks the air through the top of this line. So for being a basic little design, this one doesn't too, do too bad of a job. You can adjust it, increase and decrease the airflow just by raising and lowering this pipe. That just increased it a little bit. There we go, I think I've gone past the sweet spot with this one. Just popping back down. I don't know how well the bubbles are coming up, how well you're seeing them, but just by raising, raising and lowering this pipe, you get different uh, amount of air being sucked into the system. So that's a good deal of air coming through there. Maybe not as good as the, the other one with the irrigation fitting, but yeah, it definitely is supplying a lot of air down to the base of the drum there. So it could be something to think about. Nice and cheap too. I mean, all you've got is an elbow that you're putting a hole in and some little rubber hose. I mean, I've seen people use big pens, so yeah, nice and easy. One thing I've noticed with these little simple units is the size of the bubble is a little bit larger and every now and then you'll get a large bubble coming up to the surface. What you're after is small fine bubbles. You're really trying to get as much oxygen dissolved into the water and smaller bubbles help that process. So while these work great and would be um, good for a small little unit, I don't think they're sort of what I'm after with the larger tanks and the larger number of fish. So that's just something to keep in mind. The smaller the bubbles, the more oxygen is going to be dissolved into the water. So. Just had a quick little think while I was doing this as well. I've made up a very quick little venturi out of a basically water coming from a 1 inch or 25 mil to a 3 quarter inch or 20 mil down to the 15 mil pipe. And what I've got in there, just very hastily made, is a 8 mil rubber hose and I've popped him through into the pipe and he's probably going down to about the end of that fitting there a little bit further and I've got a little bevel cut on the end. I've played around with him for a while and this is the flow that I've actually been able to achieve um, air-wise. It's pretty much all the same as the, um, the just the straight elbow variety, but if that's all you've got, they're the only fittings you've got, I mean, that works fine. Um, the, the hole's a bit sloppy here and there's a few drips, but you know, if it's over the top of the fish tank, you're not losing anything. But I just thought I'd show you that as another um, adapta adaptation, I suppose, of this, this idea of just a straight pipe. So this last Venturi here is one that I've bought off the shelf. Uh, the water comes through here under pressure. There is a restriction in there. Oxygen is dragged through, mixes, and then goes out and, yeah, creates your aerated water. So well worth checking out if you're not into the DIY side of things. So the water's coming through this section of pipe. And over here, you're getting a good mix of air being sucked in through this little valve here um, and going out with the water. And it's actually giving quite a nice little spread. The bubbles look a lot smaller than the ones in that first Venturi I showed you, the little homemade one. Uh, but I don't think there is as much of them. Then again, the aperture where the, the hole where the oxygen's being dragged in or the air's being dragged in and mixed with the water is a lot smaller and finer than the, the PVC homemade jobby, so that might have something to do with it. Keeping in mind though, this is only the one inch model. These guys come in about three or four different sizes. I think you can get one smaller and about four or five larger. Um, there's some, this one I bought from Earthen Group. You can also buy them online through eBay. So there you go. Rather impressed with the way all of them have won actually. As you can hear, the air compressor's off. It sounds so good down here now. Uh, over the back there, the Venturi set up. Uh, unfortunately, it's just, held on with zip ties at the moment and sitting in place uh, when when we do some more work on the pipes and rearrange the system it'll end up with a more permanent location but what I've got is it just it coming down through a 20 mil three quarter inch pipe and then across a little bit of a um, diffuser bar I suppose you'd call it just another 20 mil pipe with holes drilled through it with an end cap and more holes drilled in it uh, it's on a bit of a, sl a lean at the moment uh, mainly because it's the the pipe isn't secured correctly so we're only getting air out the, the top, uh, probably two thirds of the holes, but we are getting a nice spread. Uh, you can see a bit of a wall of bubbles there, a bit hard through all the surface distortion. But over the back there, you can see what it's doing. It's, yeah, creating a lot of air bubbles. Most impressed with that. Um, can't fault it really, it's been running for about a week now, of, I think five, six days now. So I'm rather happy with the way it's going. I'm not too concerned about it not giving enough oxygen to the water, not oxygen oxygenating the water enough, because down here in the sump tank, 
we have water falling in from these grow beds continuously so they're adding more oxygen in I still have my little air stone in the back corner just in case something goes pear shaped but I think there'll be more than enough dissolved oxygen through the venturi and the fall of the water in there so there you go there's my little take on the venturis just the ones I've been mucking around with this week um, I'm pretty much all gonna stick with the one I've nicknamed the bear unit uh, thank you very much for sharing that with me bear for more information on just venturis how they work and a couple of different ways to build them check out the links in the description below there's one to a video and one to a chap in England or Ireland um, he's got a list of just different venturis he's mucked around with as well as helpful links to other sites so check them out if you want a bit more scientific explanation than what I can offer just a bit of a layman here no expert so I suppose that is pretty much all it um, if you do have any comments questions suggestions or any adaptations you've made with venturis for your system I'd love to hear about them in the comments section below um, other than that I hope this has been helpful to someone out there and I hope you all have a great one catch ya Oops, that's not good. <laughs>